please support and subscribe to my channel. Hi you guys, thank you for watching my channel, Unique World. So we're gonna be discussing how to get your bills lower to save during COVID-19. So I need you guys to subscribe below. Hopefully there's a subscription below because this reminds me of a time where I actually watched the video and they were pointing in the air, but nothing was there. How embarrassing. So, so hopefully I edit this video right and it says subscribe. <laughs> Thank you and let's figure out how to get your bills lowered. So, to let you know how I saved money um, during COVID-19, I decided to try to figure out how to get my bills lowered. And I just called around to just find out. Number one was the car insurance. Right now, Nationwide is doing a $50 um, check being sent to your home via mail. And I've already received that. Um, and I also called to see if I can garage a car to save money. So if you're not using a car, you're working from home and you're not going anywhere, why not save money by garaging your car? Number two, what I did was um, I called my credit card companies. With my credit card companies, I have Capital One and Discover Card. I called Discover Card the first time and they told me, Hola. No, no, no. no, we don't have any type of promotion to lower your interest rate. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to call again. So I called again and I received someone that was able to assist me and I actually received 10% lower interest rate. That's a lot of savings. And so another thing that she added on was if I make a payment over the amount that is due, then I would get 5% of that amount back to my credit that I can use to add on to my um, next bill cycle. So I was like, okay, this is working out. Then I decided to call Capital One. It took forever to get in contact with someone, but I was like, okay, I'm on a mission. I have to save some money. So when I called Capital One, um, and got in contact with someone, um, they only gave me 5% lower interest rate. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe calling again to see if I can get it lowered. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Um, next is number three. Number three is um, a Sprint, your phone bill. So I have Sprint and Sprint was difficult and, and, and like they would not budge, but I kept calling. When I finally got through to someone in March, um, I actually received $50 off in March on my uh, March uh, bill cycle. And then I was like, okay. And then they said that, you know, um, they'll waive the late fee if I happen to be late paying my bill. So I was like, okay. So I was like, that's it? All right. Well, that's okay. I'm going to call again in April. So April came around. I'll call Sprint. And they gave me $20 off. I was like, really? So when I call again in May, you're going to lower my payment down $5, $10? But I'm going to call anyway to see what I can get lowered. Every penny counts. And I'm going to take it. So I'm, I'm good with that. So March was $50 off and uh, April bill was $20 off. So number four. Number four is if you have kids like I do, I pay child care. With my child care, they said that I have to still keep paying child care. 
which I don't agree with because I'm working from home and I'm keeping my own kids while you're sitting at home without my kids. So why am I paying for service that I'm not receiving? Hmm. Good question, right? Tell me how you feel below in the comments because I don't know if you, you guys are going through the same thing I'm going through, but I'm not paying for, for you to stay at home and not keep my child. I'm just not. So what I'm doing with that money is I'm putting into an emergency savings account. Um, just like I'm paying regular child care, I'm just going to put that into uh, my emergency savings account and save some money um, by building that up. And you can also actually use that money to uh, put towards um, your credit card payments if, if you have any credit cards. That will probably help as well. Um, and number five, mortgage company. So with my mortgage company, they have stated that they will give me two months worth of a payment extension time where it will be put on the back end of my term date. So for instance, if I were to pay off my house in... December 2020 and they gave me a two month extension of not to pay then on um then on that February 2021 I would I would be done paying my mortgage off yeah that sounds good, but just know that they're going to keep adding interest rates. So I opt out of doing that. But by all means, if you can't pay, I would just take it and just worry about it later. But at this point, I don't have to worry about that right now. Um, but I've actually heard um, a person, she was saying that her mortgage company actually told her that, yeah, I get two months uh, to not pay, but they told me on that third month, I would have to pay three payments all in a one lump sum. No. So I would be careful and ask the questions of, so when do I have to pay? How much I have to pay? Um... Any, any type of question to figure out how to go about getting um, your mortgage uh, payments extended. Another thing right now is because of the pandemic of the COVID-19, you could probably refinance your home and get a lower interest rate. So I would check out that and ask your mortgage company about that and see how that goes. But that is all that I have today for you guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can get more stuff lower, save, and let you guys know in the comments below. But definitely let me know how it worked out for you and where else you have saved. Because um, I'm sure other people be interested in learning about how you save as well. So thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe. Until next time, peace.